In this video, we're going to look at another maximum and minimum problem, we kind of a real life solution. Um, yeah, and we're going to follow the same steps as we did last time, so the, the four steps, except in this time, because the question is asking us different things at different times, we're not actually going to follow them in order, just the way the question is laid out. But it's still always the same four steps, okay? Uh, so go through the question, we have an open box here, so if you imagine the top of it is open, the rest of them are just, say, just the cardboard box or anything like that. The volume of the box, so the amount of space in the box, is 108 meters cubed okay so it's going to be a pretty big box um yeah so that, that's the question so the first part asks us to get h in terms of x the second part asks us to write an equation for the surface area of the box so surface area is kind of just the outside bit of the box like that like i have shaded i can't kind of shade you can't see behind the boxes but all the sides of the box basically and then number three find the dimensions of the box that will give the minimum surface area okay so again, it's a maximum minimum problem we're going to use calculus so the first i'll just go straight ahead and go to the first part so part one the h in terms of x okay so remember whenever you're trying to write h in terms of x and the last time we went to write y in terms of x but whatever it is you have to use that one piece of information the question gave you so in this case this is piece of information i'm going to write that v is equal to 108 also volume so the volume of a box is equal to the length by the width by the height okay is equal to 108 so that means x squared h is equal to 108 and h is equal to 108 divided by x squared okay so we'll draw a little box around that so that's part one done yeah, so every time it's going to be something like this. You have to use the piece of information to find, say, h in terms of x. So now, in part two, I'll do it in a different color. We're going to find the surface area of the box. Okay, I'm going to call this S. So the surface area of the box is going to be the area of this side plus the area of this side plus the area of this side plus the area of this side and the area of the bottom side. So not at the top because it's an open box, but there is going to be a uh, surface area on the bottom, okay? So it's going to be, so I'm going to say S is equal to, so to the bottom first is going to be X squared because the area of the bottom bit is going to be, if you think of it, the square looking like that, it's going to be X by X, yeah? So it's going to be X squared plus, and then it's going to be four times the area of this side because it's going to be the same area of each side of the box, yeah? So the area of this side is just equal to X by H is equal to, 4 times x by h, okay? So if you think back to our last video, this is technically step 1, so it's writing the equation of surface area, and now I'm going to go into step 2, so I'm going to do this in blue, okay, so step 2, I'm not going to, it's going to be part of the same question, but writing surface area in terms of only one variable, okay? So we want to get rid of h, and we're going to use this piece of information to get rid of the h. So we're going to say that s is equal to x squared, plus 4 by x by 108 divided by x squared. So our final answer is going to be s is equal to x squared plus, ooh, that's a t, not a plus, plus. So this x is going to cancel with one of the x's in the bottom. And then 4 by 108 will give us 432 over x. Okay, so this is our equation for a surface area, all in terms of one variable. Mm -hmm. And now part three. We'll do it in purple. Why not? Part three is to find the dimensions of the box that will give the minimum surface area. Okay. So if you look at this thing here, it's going to be a quadratic. Um. So it actually, looks it looks a bit weird. You're not really sure what it's going to be, but. Uh, Actually, no, looking at it again, it won't be a quadratic, so because there's an x squared, but there's also an x at the bottom. So we'll leave it for now. We're looking for the minimum, okay? So remember, for minimum or maximum, it's a turning point, so we're always going to use calculus. We're going to differentiate it. So I'm going to write then that, uh, actually, before I differentiate it, I'm going to write s in a different way. I'm going to write s is equal to x squared plus 432 by x to the minus 1. Okay, so x to the minus 1 is always just 1 over x, so that's the same thing as that. I'm just writing it like this because it's a little trick. Instead of using the quotient rule, which can be quite messy, uh, this is a lot a lot quicker, okay? So I'm going to write the ds dx, so we're going to differentiate it, is going to be equal to 2x plus, now this thing here for differentiating this, we're going to bring the minus 1 power down to the front, 
So minus 1. Uh, and we're going to take minus 1 away from minus 1. So it's going to be minus 2. Okay, so minus 1, 432 stays the same. And this is going to be x to the power of minus 2. Does that make sense? It's the same rules of differentiation we've been using. Uh, so that means our ds dx is going to be equal to 2x minus 432 over x squared. Again, because x to the minus 2 is just uh, 1 over x squared, or what we have here. Yeah? So now we've differentiated. We're going to want to let that equal to 0. So once we let that equal to 0, we can start trying to solve it. So let me just draw a line down here, and we'll squeeze it in the side. So 2x minus 432x, 432 over x squared is equal to 0. So 2x minus 432 over x squared is equal to 0. So I'm going to multiply everything by x squared to get rid of this in the bottom. So you multiply this by x squared, you're going to get 2x cubed. If you multiply this by x squared, it'll cancel with the x squared in the bottom, and we'll be left with minus 432 is equal to 0. That means x cubed is going to be equal to, sorry, I'll say 2x cubed is going to be equal to 432. x cubed is going to be equal to 216. And x is going to be equal to the cubed root. Oh, no. 216. The cubed root of 216. So you might not have seen that before, but it's just a button on your calculator. And it's what number multiplies by itself three times to get 216. So uh, in this case, the answer is going to be 6 meters. Okay, so x is equal to 6 meters. And if we remember, our h is equal to 108 over x squared. So I'll write this down in yellow. I'll say h is equal to 108 over x squared, which is equal to 108 over 6 squared. That means that h is going to be equal to 3 meters. There we go, and here we go. Oh, sorry. There's that. Yeah, and there we go. So that is our question answered. What dimensions of the box give the minimum surface area? So the dimensions are if x is equal to 6 meters and if h is equal to 3 meters. Okay? Uh, and there's our, there's our answer. So not completely done, but that's that's basically what you have to do for most questions. Um, just for this one here, so if there's a cubic function or anything like this, this isn't cubic, but if it's not a normal quadratic, you're going to have to do one more piece. So I'm, I'm just going to have to get rid of this. So remember, we're going to have x is equal to 6 and h is equal to 3. And I'm going to erase all this, and we're going to continue the question. Okay, so I just erased that. I'm just going to write ds dx again uh, over here. ds dx is equal to... 2x minus 432 over x squared, okay? So now we're going to have to do double differentiation. Because what we got as our answers were x is equal to 6 and h is equal to 3. But for all we know, they, that could give us the minimum value of volume. Okay, so we need to differentiate it again to find out it's a minimum or a maximum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write d2s, as you know, again, I'm going to write ds dx one more time. Uh, ds dx is going to be equal to 2x minus 432 by x to the minus 2. Okay, and we're going to use the same trick. So that means d2s dx squared is going to be equal to 2. So the 2x is going to go to 2. It's going to be minus. So we're going to bring the minus 2 down. Okay. Uh, 432. Ooh. That's supposed to be a 2. And then this x to the power of minus 2 will go to x to the power of minus 3. Okay? So our final answer then for d2s uh, dx squared is going to be 2 plus, so the minus and the minus, we're going to change to a plus, 864 over x cubed, which is kind of a bit weird looking, but Sherlock x squared. Just bear with me here. Okay, so d2s dx squared. So remember, if you want to test if it's a maximum or a minimum, you have to sub in your value into this thing here. So our value of x, that is in green, so x was equal to 6. So we're going to do d2s dx squared gives us uh, 2 plus 
864 over 6 cubed and that's going to give us an answer of 6 okay and this number is positive that means it's increasing that means it's going to go from minus to plus like that which means it is a minimum okay and that's what we want we wanted the surface area to be at a minimum um, so this just this proves that our answer was right so uh, luckily it wasn't a maximum so sometimes if you do it you might accidentally get the maximum but this thing makes sure that you have the minimum and not the maximum okay so does that all make sense now our, we got our answer of what dimensions of the box give us the minimum surface area uh, it's six and then we just checked that just to make sure that it was actually the minimum we were getting and it was okay and in this video they didn't ask us to get that minimum surface area if they did uh, what we'd have to do is we'd have to sub in our uh, x and our h values into this thing here and we could find that actual minimum surface area, but we don't need to in this question. Okay, hopefully again, sorry that video was a little bit long, but hopefully that all made sense.